and welcome back. And as you can see, we're uh, getting to the point now of doing some of the decoration in the home um, and um, starting to do some of the first and second fix. So first fix is uh, pretty much done for most of the house. Uh, we're putting off some of the bathrooms and things later so we can just get back in. Um, but we're getting to install some of the technology that I've mentioned in my earlier videos. So I'll just touch on some of the things that we're um, installing and the products that I've chosen. Um, one of those we've got down lights in a number of the rooms, so kitchen, my office, and the uh, gym, so laundry room. And I've struggled with, you know, what wattage do you buy, what colour white do you buy, because once you cut the holes in the ceiling and put them in, you know, it's difficult to change. Um, so my electrician put me onto these uh, Collingwood lights, uh, relatively inexpensive, I think they're 10 or 12 pounds, and they're switchable in wattage and switchable in uh, the colour uh, warmth of the, the white. Um, nice and easy to install and they can have insulation over the top so it can go um, in any location. Um, so, you know, really pretty good quality fitting for the money, so we're very pleased with that. Um, I mentioned previously we're putting in a Loxon home automation system. Um, so all of the rooms will have uh, these Loxon pure touch, uh, uh, I say switches, it's way more than a switch. So this will allow us to switch between um, um, uh, lighting themes within the room, lighting scenes, uh, open and close blinds, uh, adjust the volume. They've got temperature and humidity sensors built in and also a little down light uh, to cast a, a, like a night light down the wall. So uh, looking forward to getting those installed and seeing what uh, those work with. <coughs> um, to complement those spotlights, um, we've got present sensors from Loxon. So this is a, a PIR, like an alarm sensor. Um, it also measures the uh, light intensity, so we can automate lights coming on and off depending on the, the brightness of the room. And it has a microphone, so for present sensing, um, you'll trigger a scene by walking into the room, but the system will have a microphone that will listen um, and keep that scene activated, so you know, it doesn't just time out the lights go out. You know, so um, looking forward to seeing how successful that is uh, at present sensing. Um, uh, next product that we'll be using is, I think there's a Knightsbridge uh, screwless sockets in anthracite. Um, got some of these with USB chargers, USB um, uh, C including fast charging for some of those locations as well. Um, reasonably priced product. I'm a little nervous of screwless fittings depending on how good the surface of the plaster is. Uh, but I'll do a review on, on, on those coming forward as well. Uh, <clears throat> and finally, uh, we're putting audio into most of the rooms. And I have my first set of speakers uh, as delivered. Um, these are going to be going in the kitchen space. So these are some fantastic uh, monitor audio um, uh, speakers. Uh, they're sort of higher up the range products. So they're 300 series. Uh, I think they're something like a, um, a six or eight inch driver. So I'll do a review of those as well. And the installation of those in the in the uh, in the ceiling. So we're putting uh, speakers in the bedrooms, my office that we're in here, um, the gym and in the kitchen, and uh, then I've got a, a pretty special hi-fi setup that's going to go in the lounge space as well. So I hope that's given a view of some of the tech that we'll be installing and reviewing over coming weeks. Um, really excited now that we're actually getting to put some of this stuff in and uh, see how we can move forward with it. So thanks to so many of you for subscribing. If you haven't done so, please do so. Click like for this video and I'll be back to you in a few days reviewing some of these products in more detail. Thank you.